Algebra 1, 6.3a, trinomial squares, recognize a trinomial square. We learned in video 5.10b about binomial squares and special products that the square of a binomial is a trinomial. Well, these trinomials are often called trinomial squares. So let me show you. Here's a binomial square, z plus 3 squared. See how it's a binomial and because it's got two terms and it's squared because it's got the little 2. We can open this up as z plus 3 times z plus 3, can't we? When we do FOIL, first, outer, inner, last, we multiply the z times the z, and we get z squared, don't we? So that's multiplying the first terms. The outside and the inside is z times 3 and 3 times z. We write the coefficient first, so the 3 is going to come first. So it's really 3z plus 3z. That's 6z. Now we do the L in FOIL, the last. We do 3 times 3, the two last terms in the parentheses, and we get a positive 9. So we've got z squared plus 6z plus 9. We get the trinomial, z squared plus 6z plus 9. When we get good at this, we can actually do it quickly in our head. Did you know that? So if we follow this formula, a plus b, and square it to get a plus b times a plus b, we can use this, okay? z squared plus 6z plus 9, that was our trinomial, okay? z squared plus 6z plus 9. It's a trinomial square because it's the square of a binomial. It's the square of this binomial, see? That's what makes it a trinomial square. And if we use this a plus b, a plus b, the conditions we need for a trinomial square would be two of the terms must be squares. All right, well, yeah, yeah. The first and last terms must be positive because they're squares. That's positive and that's positive. And the second term in a squared binomial is the middle term in the trinomial. The second term in a squared binomial is the middle term in the trinomial. See? So this 6z, see? It's 3z plus 3z, see? If we multiply a and b, this a and this b, see? We get ab plus ab we get the middle term 2ab of the trinomial square, or its additive inverse minus 2ab, okay? So these are the three conditions, you should write this down, that we need for a trinomial square. One, two of the terms must be squares. Two, the first and last terms must be positive. And three, if you multiply the a and the b, and double the answer, you'll get the middle term of the trinomial square. Okay? So let's take a look at this a little bit deeper. So looking at our trinomial square, we can figure out if it fulfills the conditions of a trinomial square. So z squared and 9 are squares. z to the second power and 3 to the second power make the z squared and the 9, right? So yes, it fits that condition z squared the first term and 9 the last term are both positive. Yep, it fulfills that condition. And if we multiply 3z and 3 and double the answer, 3z plus 3z, it'll get 6z and that's the middle term. So yes, it is the square of a binomial. It's a trinomial square. See? So remember, it's a trinomial square if it's the square of a binomial, okay? So that's really important. You should write that down. It's a trinomial square if it's the square of a binomial. Let's take a look at this one. Is this a trinomial square? No, it only has one square, the x squared. That 13 doesn't count, does it? What about this one? Is this a trinomial square? Yes, it fulfills the conditions. It has two squares, the 16x squared and the 25y squared. The 16x squared and 25y squared are both positive. And when we factor the 6x squared to a 4x and the 25y squared to a 5y, 
and multiply them together, we get 20xy, and when we double that, we get 40xy, which is the center. So yes, it's a trinomial square. So remember, those are the conditions, all right? You know it's a trinomial square if it's the square of a binomial, and the conditions are two terms are squares, the first and last terms are positive, and when you multiply the square roots of the first and last terms and double it, it'll equal the middle term of the trinomial square, okay? Hopefully I said it so many times it's drilled into your head. Now, if you go into the description of this video, you're going to see links for factoring the difference of two squares, modeling the difference of two squares. I did that with construction paper so you can actually see what's happening with the difference of two squares. How to recognize the difference of two squares and factoring and binomial squares, okay? So those links will be in this description. In the next video, 6.3b, we're going to actually factor trinomials, okay? I hope I'll see you there and I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. I believe in you. You can do this. Bye.